What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing two Gemini Jets models. This is a uh, December Gemini Jets release, and my first Gemini Jets interactive model. So, let's get started. We have the uh, United Boeing 737 MAX 8, and the second model is this FedEx 747-8 interactive series. Uh, we'll take a look at the smaller model before heading on to the bigger model. So, taking a look at the smaller beat-up box, it's a uh, normal Gemini Jets. Uh, we have the Gemini Jets logo, clip out of the aircraft, Boeing 737 MAX 8, United Titles. And taking a look inside of the box, uh, it says Boeing 737 MAX 8. Here is the flap, so you guys can read it. And that was the flap. And on the side of the box, it's just normal Gemini Jets, uh, just all around. And uh, yeah, because of the packaging, the model isn't beat up. I hope the model isn't beat up, but the packaging, uh, like the box, is pretty beat up. But um, yeah, and of course, on the back, we just have a part of the aircraft and all the other Gemini Jets facts. And uh, this is a 2021 Gemini Jets release. So let's put the United off to the side and let's take a look at the uh, UPS box. So here we have this UPS 747A. Uh, we have this sky blue background. It says Gemini Jets, clip out of the aircraft, interactive series, Boeing 747-8F, UPS. And here is the flap so you guys can see. And yeah, there was the flap so you guys could see it. And on the side, it's just normal Gemini Jets. Uh, as well as here, it shows how the model is interactive, uh, and this is just all the sides. And on the back here, you guys can see the back, which has this sort of different design. And of course, this is a 2021 Gemini Jets release. So I think the first model that we'll unbox uh, is the United 737 MAX. Uh, now, like I said before, because of the packaging, it's very beat up. Um, but the model itself, I'm hoping, uh, is... Uh, the packaging is ripped, too. Lovely, Gemini Jets. Just lovely. Okay. So, uh, let's take a look at the model. Um, everything does appear to be intact on the model. Uh, all the wings are fine, the antennas. Everything is good on the United model. And, uh, yeah, let's put that off to the side. And now let's unbox the FedEx model. Now, for some reason, Gemini shipped this all beat up. Uh, so that's lovely. So, yeah, this is normal Gemini Jets packaging. So I think we'll just put this off to the side. We'll put the FedEx off to the side. And we'll take a look at the United Max first before we go in depth on the FedEx 748. Starting off with the video segment for this United Max model, we have the cockpit windows, Star Alliance logo, forward landing gear with the ETOP certification, L1 door, United Blue Evolution titles. Continuing on on the aircraft, we have an antenna, emergency exits, wings with the uh, Blue Evo scimitar winglets, or not scimitar, uh, sharklets I think they're called, I don't know. Uh, we have the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD, an antenna. The registration on the aircraft, which is number 27251, the American flag, L2 door, the serial number, and the United Blue Evolution tail. Now, the only difference between the left and the right side of the aircraft is that on the right side of the aircraft, we have the cargo doors, and uh, the winglets are painted pretty nicely. Uh, I've heard that a lot of people have gotten problems uh, with this model, but personally, I don't really see any other problems uh, besides the fact that the landing gear is a little bit crooked, as you guys can see. The fan blades are done really well, and the wings are level. But uh, yeah, that does conclude the detail segment for this United model. Starting off with the video segment, for this UPS interactive model, we have the cockpit windows, L1 door, forward landing gear with the uh, middle part of the registration of the aircraft, which is 608. Continuing on down the aircraft, we have an antenna and a few windows. Uh, nothing really much else uh, on the wings, but then towards the back of the aircraft, we have two antennas. The registration of the aircraft, which is number 608 Uniform Papa, and obviously we have the UPS logo. So I'm going to take uh, my camera off of the stand so you guys uh, can see. So the reason why there's holes in here is because uh, in the package, the package came with all of uh, this wonderful stuff. So this is the closed configuration for the nose. This is the uh, 
this is the open configuration for the nose uh, and obviously there's a lot more uh, tiny bits and pieces which does explain why there's holes in the uh, fuselage. So you have one in the front of the aircraft, one on the side, and then two on the opposite side of the aircraft where the other cargo doors are supposed to be. And obviously the wings on this model uh, are level as well as the engines. Now the 7478 is actually one of the few models that Chimai Jets does pretty well. And on the bottom of the model we have the Chimai Jets logo and we have a broken slash contorted uh, landing gear. But uh, yeah, now I'm going to show you guys all the different configurations for this model. Now there are two configurations for this Gemini Jets model. The first configuration is with all doors closed, i.e. all of the pieces in. Uh, now these pieces don't really fit that well, I don't know why. Uh, some of them are slippery while others like this one are really firm. Uh, and as you guys can see, just a slight bit of force causes it to come out, which I mean you know, isn't really that hard to do. So, uh, something to be cautious of, especially, uh, is, are these pieces, which come out really easily. For some reason, the closed configuration, uh, version for the cargo doors, one is labeled A, but the other one isn't labeled B for some reason. And the second configuration for this model is with all of the doors, including the front cargo door, all of them being open. The two cargo doors on the left side of the aircraft uh, they are actually labeled the two pieces uh, on the bottom of the pieces. They are labeled A and B, A for the front one and B for the back one. And also on the inside, uh, it's pretty hard to see. Uh, there's also labeling A and B. Uh, but then for the other uh, two doors, because they're so large, obviously they don't need any labeling. And obviously beside this beautiful Gemini Jets cockpit, window paint chip uh here is a close look at the mechanism that keeps the forward cargo door open and closed now the way gemini jets keeps these uh cargo doors open and closed is via these hinges as you guys can see here besides the uh forward cargo door uh all the rest of the cargo doors are kept uh closed and open by these very tiny hinges here the reason why I got the United Max 8 Blue Evo model is because United are starting to fly their Maxes on a much more frequent basis uh, to Newark nowadays. They fly yesterday, I just saw one flying out to Salt Lake City, I saw a few flying out to Portland, Maine, Portland, Oregon, DC, Miami, so United do fly the Max 8 a lot into Newark. And the reason why I got the UPS 748 Interactive is uh, no, really no particular reason, but UPS do fly their 76s to Newark but they don't fly the 748. They occasionally will fly it in from uh, SDF or Leipzig, but uh, they won't do this on a daily basis. But uh, yeah, that being said, that just concludes this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you my videos, and comment down below what you guys got from Gemini Jess's recent releases. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.